Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a little fun studio vlog. We've got a few things going on here. It's a bit of a mixed bag. So I'm taking you through a really super cute spring day that I had in March. You'll also be seeing how I made new resin jewelry, which will be in my shop very soon because I got some new molds and they're really cute and fun. So I will show you how I made those. Also, I've been doing a bit of painting and returning to a bit of clay work. So I've been making little froggy trinket dishes. Uh, I didn't get them finished, but I'll show you my process on that. And lastly, for anyone interested in my cafe business that I'm starting, I started painting it last week. So here's a little bit of a progress update. So get yourself a cup of tea, big glass of water and enjoy. So let's start by showing you how I made these really lovely resin earrings. So I got these gorgeous molds off of a shop on Etsy and I also picked up little, um, they're kind of little polymer clay like fruits and smiley faces. If you're a 90s kid, you might, you might remember sticking these on your nails. Um, so I got those and I also had some little sequins and mini stars and things left over from Christmas. So firstly, I just get my resin and I do a little uh, thin layer to coat the whole bottom of the mold with the resin. And I like to use a toothpick to be able to push and spread around the resin. I find that if you use a paintbrush, this tends to just destroy your paintbrush. There's no real way to get the resin off again. Uh, so sacrifice a toothpick and uh, put the resin, you know, all in the, in the corners and the crevices of the mold to make sure, you know, you don't miss any spots or have any air bubbles. I use a pair of tweezers to pick out the little fruits or little smiley faces or whatever it is that I want to put in and I push them flat into the resin. I thought these little fruits would look so cute for sort of spring, summer jewelry and also because they're multicolored, they kind of go with so many outfits as well. Then I get my resin again and do kind of a top coat just to make sure it's all evenly sandwiched in. And again, using a toothpick, I push and spread the resin. This particular resin I got is the first time I've I'm using it in this video. And uh, it's quite a thick resin, but um, I find this was quite good because you were able to sort of push it around and it didn't drip as easily as say a thinner resin. So I cured these under a UV light for 30 to 40 minutes until they're completely solid and cured. And then I just pop them out of the molds and you're done. Super easy, super sweet jewelry. And all you have to do after that is assemble them. So now that you know the basic principle of making resin jewelry, the possibilities are honestly endless. So I have these gorgeous little lightning bolt molds. I also have some clouds. Uh, so here's a few more ideas of different things you can do. As you can see, I'm putting little kind of like holographic white to pink stars in the little lightning bolts and same in some clouds. And honestly, you can do whatever you want and there's almost no limit to what you can put into resin. Uh, so here's a few more ideas. And also I ended up making some little keychains and earrings last week as well. I used shrinky dink plastic, I think it's called in America. I think it was called plastic magique here, <laughs> magic plastic. So basically like you just draw whatever you want on the plastic or paint it. Uh, and then it shrinks down three times or to a third of its original size. So you can see me resonating some of those here. I'll maybe insert a little clip of those finished earrings in next week's video if you're interested in seeing those. Also, these earrings that I made today will be in my shop very, very soon. So go ahead and follow me over on Instagram to get a more up-to-date update on the shop.
So recently I've been making little froggy clay trinket dishes. So I'll be showing you how I started painting them today. I didn't get them finished, but I'll show you a little bit of the process of how I paint those. I'm hoping to get these finished up sometime next week. So you'll probably see in a future studio vlog the finished trinket dishes very soon. So stay tuned for that. Honestly, the main reason that I've managed to start a lot of things and not quite finish them is because I'm pouring all of my time and energy into starting up my very own cafe. So if you saw my studio vlog the other week, you'll have seen like the before pictures and stuff of the cafe, but you'll see it's come along a little bit. We've painted it and I'll be showing you some clips of that very shortly. My eye 
It's so sacred, so divine 